Hey everyone, this video is going to be a follow-on to the intro video that I did on the Steadicam Merlin 2. And what we're going to talk about today is weight and balance. Now this is quite a lengthy subject to go over, so I decided I'm going to kind of have to break it into two different videos. And uh, so this will be the first part, and then I'll have the second part up fairly quickly too. And we're just going to kind of go over some of the basics on how to, to weight and balance the Merlin 2 because I think that's the most difficult thing. Once you get past that, then it's just a matter of um, you know learning how to be proficient with it. So I think you'll find it kind of interesting. So let's go and check it out. All right. So uh, we have quite a bit of stuff here, and there's a lot to go over. So this may end up having to be two videos, and uh, we'll see how, we, how it goes. Um, first of all, I've got the Merlin stuff here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take all this stuff out that we're going to be using. So I got the Merlin and the weights and we'll need this one screw. So what we're going to be doing here on this weight and balance, um, this really is a physics problem. And the idea is that we want to be able to, when we hold this thing, we want it to be able to stay just perfectly level like this. Okay, that's the idea. We don't want, it shouldn't be topping over one way or the other. And uh, so, the way we control that is there's going to be some weights down here on the bottom. There's a place up here in the front where you can put some weights. And we also have some trim controls, which are going to be things that we'll be using later on. And we also have this control knob here, which will control the length of the spar, okay? So this thing can go out longer or come in shorter, the distance between the, the bottom here and the stage, okay? So what we're gonna be balancing on this thing is I've got a, a Canon 5D here, Mark III, and I've got a, a Rokinon um, scene lens, a 24 millimeter scene lens, and I've also got a filter on here and I've got the battery in here. You really need to have everything that you're going to be using. And don't forget, because I've done this many times myself, to take the, the uh, cover off, the lens cover, because that will affect the weight and balance. So basically what I've got is just the lens, a, the camera body, the battery is in here, and um, the filter. So this is what I'm going to be balancing on the Merlin 2. All right? So one of the first things that you kind of need to do is determine how much all this weighs and I've weighed it and it weighs just a little over three and a half pounds and that's going to make a difference as far as how much weight we need to put up front and down here. Now Steadicam recommends if you're over, I believe if you're over three pounds that um, you're going to want to use a finishing weight and one of these mid weights in the front. Whoops, in the front. So we can go ahead and put that on here now. So that's one of the things, you know, just based on how much the overall weight is, this is pretty much a done deal here. So we can go ahead and put these on here. These little things can be tricky sometimes. Okay. So. That one should be a done deal. We shouldn't have to fiddle around with this anymore. All right. Now, as far as how much weight we need to put down here in the bottom, well, that's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Um, I know for this setup, because I've done it before, it ends up being two mid weights, a start weight, and a finish weight. Okay. So it ends up being this much weight. But I think what I'm going to do, just for illustration purposes, is show you what happens if you have too much weight on here. So we'll put an extra one on the bottom. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and put that on here. Now, you've got two locking knobs here. These should be unscrewed because we're gonna go ahead and open this. If you go clockwise, it opens up the spar all the way here, okay? So this is gonna make it more um, bottom heavy. All right, now, the stage comes right off here. This is, we have to mount the camera on here. Now, there are some letters on the back here. And I actually, this is the one piece of information that I actually did kind of look up. There is a website, I think it's called merlincookbook.com or merlin2cookbook.com. You can get some information out there about what hole to, you know, what hole people typically use or and, and weights and that sort of thing. But the only really useful information I got was it seems like most people with the DSLR will use the the uh, N as in November um, hole here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera mounted on this stage now because we need to do that before we can balance anything. So you're going to want to have this shorter end here facing the back of the camera. And what I'm going to do is put a screw here in the end hole and screw it right down here in the bottom. Get in there nice and uh, tight. Okay, that's really good. All right, so now we got that all done. So what we're gonna do next is we just gotta go ahead and put this thing on the stage. And let's see what happens here, okay? Now, the first thing I'm seeing here is this thing is just way tilted down, right? You can see how that's just kind of tilt, the, the whole camera is just tilting down here. That's because the camera is too close to the front, so we just want to move this back here. Okay. And I think you can see that this thing is still too front heavy here, okay? So that tells you right now you've got you've got way too much weight on here. This just is not this is way too much weight. It's pulling it down too much. So I'm gonna take one of these mid weights off now. Because if you can pull this camera all the way to the back of the stage here and it's still tilting forward, you got too much weight. So, and I happen to know that this is the right amount of weight now for this camera. Okay. So now he's still tilting too much forward. But what we need to do now, in order to get it better balanced, is to start bringing the spars in because it's just way too bottom heavy, right? In fact, one of the things that Steadicam recommends is that you have what's called a drop time of one, around one second or so. I'd say maybe one to one and a half seconds. And as you can see, this is just way too fast. I mean, this thing is going to drop from a horizontal position down here way too quickly. So it's still way too top heavy. But we're at that point now where um, it's still, in fact, here's one thing you can do to find out if you have still have too much weight or not, right? If you go ahead and you bring this thing all the way in, okay? So turn this thing all the way in. So now you can see how this thing's really um, coming up pretty close. Notice how it's just way too top heavy now. So we went from being bottom heavy to top heavy. 
So that's a pretty good sign that we're in that sweet spot when it comes with, to the weight. So now I believe that we should be able to, and as I know because I've done this already, but we know that we're in that spot because we just went from being too bottom heavy to too top heavy. We know we're, we're in the right weight range. So now it's just a matter of adjusting the spar here to see what we can do. Okay. And here you can see how it's it's a little better, but it's still way too, it still wants to kind of stay up here, right? I mean, this guy's supposed to be down here. So it's still too top heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and um, clockwise on this guy. And let's see what we have here. Okay. I think now we're kind of getting better. You see this? See now how it's just kind of holding up here you know, and it's definitely usable at this point. You can start moving this in, and you can start to see now that we're actually getting close to where we want to be. So now what I'm gonna do is bring this, um, I highly re recommend, by the way, this little uh, stand that you can get as the display stand for the Merlin, because it, uh, it makes a huge difference uh, on the way, on, so you don't, you, know, you can put this thing in here, and it makes it a lot easier Okay, you probably can't see it too well here because I'm trying to keep the camera kind of close here so you can see what I'm doing. I didn't want to bring it back too far. But um, the important thing is to see where the spar is anyway. So right now we're way down here. Okay. So I want to move this around here. All right. So we're, we're still way down here, um, okay? And if you try to bring this thing up and do a drop test on it, it seems like it might be pretty close, but the camera is still tilting too much to the forward. So what I'm gonna do, again, is move the camera back on the stage 